Hi, I'm Alemi from Yayo Botanica. Welcome back. You guys have been fantastic. Thank you so much for all the support to the channel. The comments, fantastic suggestions, keep them coming. Remember, we are Y-E-Y-E-O, Yayo. Dot com. We are a spiritual and wellness supplier, which is why we make videos about all things spiritual. Today, I have like so, so, so interesting topic about head wraps. Why do people cover their head? And what's the spiritual significance? And does it really mean anything? So remember, give me a thumbs up, hit the bell for notifications, and in the description box below, become a part of my exclusive YouTube family list. If you want to be in the know, then hit that bell for notifications so you can find out about when I release new videos all the time. I want to shout out, shout out, pew, 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 pew. I want to shout out Germany. Woohoo! and Virginia. Woohoo! I love you guys. Thanks so much for participating in the channel. So let's get started about learning a little bit more about why we wear head wraps. All over the world, people wear head wraps. I think that people have been wearing head coverings as long as human beings have been on earth, right? You know, I remember when my dog was younger, we would put like hats on him and sunglasses and, you know, fun things like that. They put, they put head coverings on animals. I mean, it's just a part of what we do as human beings, right? So I think that from the beginning of time, people have put something on their head. But I want to say that I think that there are three main reasons why we as humans wear things on our head, right? The first one is for protection. The second one is for style. And the third one is for identity. Protection being physically protecting our head, right? It's raining outside, something, we go someplace that it may be unsafe. Um, so we are covering our head because the head represents the thing that holds the body up, right? <laughs> the body is connected to the head, but this is the mastermind in here. This is why it's called the mastermind, right? So the mind and the head is the encasement for the mind. Well, if the mind is not good, nothing's good in that body, right? So wearing something physically to cover your head is first about physical protection, right? But then if we think about spiritual protection, there are times that people will go into various places and they feel different kinds of energies, right? Um, sometimes those different energies can give people headaches. Sometimes it can make them feel um, sometimes lightheaded. Once in a while people tell me, oh, I feel the sharp pain here, like in my third eye. Sometimes that is due to negative disturbance or just a buildup, too much energy, right? So this idea of protecting your head um, being the crown chakra, Ori is here, Eleda, the third eye, and so on and so forth. That's the first reason to protect your head. Why? Because this is the mastermind, the thing that helps to get the body um, and your whole life to experience everything. You need a strong mind, so got to protect that head. So I would say that's one of the first reasons. We look at people also as an example who have their head covered. We see people's head covered all the time professional reasons, religious reasons, and so on, which we're going to get into just a little in, a, in just a minute or two. So the second reason is style. Well, we know everybody likes to say something about themselves through what they wear on their head, right? We've seen big hats, these hat competitions. There's certain social organizations that it's all about the hat. It's all about the head covering, right? We see women um, in Africa and other places, they have beautiful Gailies, how you wrap it says so much about people's status. Um, how much money do they have? Where do they come from? What is their group? And so on, right? So we have so much style. Um, some men love to wear their fedora or, you know, the Kangol, whatever it is. 
a head covering says something about who we are and how we flow and how we want to be seen. Are we edgy? Are we conservative? Are we a little bit of both? Are we spicy, right? Male and female, children and adults, everyone in some walk of life wears a head covering only for style, right? And then some people wear head coverings just to cover not having too much up there. You know what I mean? But either way, looking good all the time. And then the third reason why I believe that people wear head coverings that, that we know of and the main reason that I chose to do this video is for spiritual reasons. And just sidebar, um, you know, some of the ladies in the store wears head coverings. I do. People come in and they, oh, why do you guys have your head cover? What's this all about? You know, continuously. Or sometimes they ask, can they purchase head coverings, which we have, and so on and so forth. So I'd say that the spiritual aspect maybe overshadows or is equal to the protective reason why we wear head coverings. But all three are, are just, just good to remember. So from a spiritual standpoint, we know that the head is a portal to receive information, right? The crown chakra, when we are children, when babies are born, they talk about the soft spot, right? That soft spot closing up. So all human beings, every single human being has this closure that I'm aware of in their head. Right, So that already says that this is really a fundamental part about the human body, the head, how we receive information. You know, there's, there are certain traditions that believe that the spirit of ourselves come in through this small portal, right? That it gets fuses into the physical body. Again, reason for the head. And so we know and we see physically and metaphysically how these two things come together. So as an example in the year of faith, people wear different head coverings, but stay first to white or the color of their Orisha. Well, we know that um, the year, well, you guys may not know this, but the Yoruba has a very strong connection to the Muslim faith, which would be for another video or one of my private classes that are much more in depth information around Yoruba history. But this, the Yoruba believe that the head is a divinity, that it is divine, that it is consecrated, that is the thing that, that kind of propels us and connects us to the higher realms one of the reasons why the head is covered and because it is thought of as a divine thing and it's that is connected to the divine the the god force another reason for it to be covered and another reason a third reason that the head is covered oftentimes is this idea of reverence that in prayer and in supplication to the spirit that the head should be covered and this is something very similar in quite a few traditions in the jewish faith they have the yarmulke they have the kippah or skull cap, whatever term you want to use. And so there's a statement that says, um, everywhere where there are sacred words, prayers, um, getting together in congregation, reading of the Torah, that, that there could not be any kind of spoken word in a consecrated place without people having their head covered. So basically this idea of the divine, right? Going into a synagogue, going into a mosque, going into a church, these real, very religious places that people are supposed to have their head covered. In the Muslim faith, we know that women wear hijabs. People see women, Muslim women wearing hijabs all the time. I want to say as a disclaimer in this video, I am not any of those traditions and so if there's more to be said you're more than welcome to comment below this is an overview video right so um, Muslim women they wear their hijab so do Muslim men but not a hijab a head covering but for the sake of this part and that is thought of that women are supposed to maintain their modesty 
and privacy from unrelated males, right? So this, this is kind of this covering of only my partner can see me type of thing. This idea of covering, this idea of veiling. And um, veiling in spiritual work, comment below if that's another video if you want to see a video on that. But this idea of veiling and covering is kind of to say, oh, I'm just keeping myself, right, for my partner. That's part of the reason. Um, so we see that in the Muslim faith, this idea of covering the head. In Christianity, as I mentioned earlier, this idea of modesty. Um, sometimes people wear a doily on the head in church, or the, the nuns wear what is called a habit, right? Brides wear a veil, right? This covering, this modesty, this idea of, ch of, of chastity, or keeping yourself um, in a divine way, keeping yourself protected under God's light, all of this, this kind of thing. So, I wear my head cover, my little thing, for protection, sometimes a little bit of style, spirituality, and I love to change my head covering all the time because I think that it really just adds some spice to what I do, but in the regular world, I like to wear my head covering when I'm going in some place where I feel has a lot of spiritual energy. And I wear it also to keep myself calm, to keep myself peaceful, and keep myself reminded that God lights shine on me all the time as it shines on you. So I hope that you enjoyed this video. You got a little bit of Convo, convo information where you can kind of chit chat with your friends about. And remember, give me a thumbs up, hit the bell for notifications. And if you want to stay in the know, hit the bell for notifications. And see you next time. Ashe, Ashe, Ashe. Thanks for watching. If you enjoy this video, like us, share us with others, give me a thumbs up, hit the bell for notifications and come visit us in the store. Check us out on all social media. See you next time.